Hey guys, it's Memorizer92, and today I'm gonna cover 6 tips for playing Glavier, which will really help you guys a lot. By the way, congrats on the announcement of Glavier in April. I'm sure it's gonna be fun, and it will not let you guys down. If you haven't watched 3 of my videos about Glavier Guide, uh, I recommend you to watch those in advance to understand this video. Then, let's get started. The first one is the advice on gems and tripods. Uh, like I mentioned in the previous videos, uh, which for whichever uh, build you go, um, you have like at least six or five skills that actually does the DPS, which means you have to invest on all the gems for those uh, skills and upgrade all the tripods for those skills as well. And this, and this is one of the reason that um, makes. Uh, Glavier or Lancemaster, uh, one of the most expensive uh, class uh, in KR. Well, uh, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, uh, Glavier is uh, not playable. There's always a way out in Lost Ark. Okay, so my advice in Tripod is that uh, when you uh, get uh, the drops from the Chaos Dungeon, like uh, plus two Tripods, then uh, you use it for yourself because plus two have like 60 chance to succeed if you use the powder and that's worth to uh, go for it well if you get like plus three or plus four um i would recommend you guys to sell it first uh because well in in kr like currently uh, plus four are expensive and plus three is like it's really cheap you know uh, but for NA and EU, when this class uh, gets released, then I'm like 99% sure that uh, even plus three tripods will, the price of the those plus three tripods will uh, skyrocket uh, really much. And that's what I expect. So if you get those plus three or plus four tripods uh, from the uh, Chaos Dungeon, then check the auction house first, and if it's expensive, uh, you sell it because it's obvious that the price will go down uh, no sooner or later. And if the price goes down, then that's the uh, time uh, you buy, uh, you know, plus three or plus four. So that's my advice on the tripods. And for the gems, if you see here, uh, I told you that like at least uh glavier has like five or six dps skills right so uh, as you can see here uh you have to uh, balance out the uh, gems on all your uh, dps skills like me i have like all eight level gems for every skill and um so most likely you want to go like uh all level like four or all level like five or six something like that you want you want to uh, at least balance out the gems for all of the skills and in priority i recommend you guys to um invest on the the skills that are in red stance first because most of the uh, red skills have uh, the guaranteed crit tripod uh, i also mentioned this in the previous video by the way so um having guarantee uh you know crit means uh those skills you know hit harder than other skills so you want to um uh, invest on uh, invest the gems on those skills in prior in prior to other skills so that's how you balance out the second one is the tips on using this red skill right here this one well for the first tripod uh, this one increases the damage and this one reduces the cooldown so you can go either one from here and from the second line, uh, this one increases the crit rate if you hit the skill by edge. And this one increases also increases the crit rate by 50% and it also increases the damage by 50%. And uh, this tripod turns this skill into a charging uh, skill. So basically, if you hit by the edge, that means you will have 50 plus 50 crit rate, which is guaranteed crit hit. So let me show you guys here. If you hit from this kind of distance, if you stick to the boss, then you will lose this tripod, right? The the edge bonus uh, crit hit 50% tripod, right? So if you uh, charge it from here, see it does like uh, similar to 50% of crit, right? But if you make some distance to get the edge bonus, the 50% more crit, then it will guarantee crit like this because it's... Uh, 
the combination of 50 plus 50. So oh, what I'm trying to tell you guys is that it's, it looks like a good skill, right? But in most of the uh, PV contents, like most, almost all of the uh, the Glavier uh, players doesn't use this skill because as you can see, you have to uh, make certain distance to get a full crit, which is inconvenient. But there is some contents that this skill is actually used and those contents are the equalized contents in equalized contents basically your character becomes weak right and having like a uh, guarantee crit uh, skills uh, in in those kind of uh, weak status makes you much stronger you know stronger uh, much stronger than other classes in the uh, you know, um, equalized contents, and that's why uh, that's one of the reason why uh, Glavier is one of the strongest, um, you know, uh, uh, class when it comes to equalized contents. If you wanna make the distance easily uh, when using this skill, then pair it up with this skill right here, uh, which is the movement skill for the uh, the Glavier. If you see here, the the skill that I'm telling you guys is this one. If you click it. It's a movement skill, right? And if you use this skill from where the boss is, then this distance is, you know, kind of like the distance uh, for hitting the edge uh, with this skill. So the advice is like this. Before uh, using this red skill, use the, the movement skill and to make the distance and then use this skill then it will guarantee crit like this. The third one is, do you have to back attack? Well, if you see my skill set, which is the most popular skill set uh, for Glavier, um, literally out of uh, six DPS skills, five of them have back attacks right here, except this one uh, right here. This one has head attack. So it's like uh, one is a head attack and five, rest of the five are five has like back attack so like you might ask like this um, wait that's like uh, it's a high proportion then wouldn't it be better to go with the ambush master well um, the thing is that um, for La for Glavier most of the DPS comes from the the buff from the identity when you switch over like uh, let me show you guys like these one, when you switch over in the full gauge, then you get this buff, right? And when you switch over from uh, the blue to red again, then you get another buff. So basically, you want to use all the strongest skills as possible before the buff ends. And then you want to quickly switch over to another stance and spam uh, other strong attacks and then switch over again. So this is the um, basic cycle. And... If you go for the the ambush master, uh, what it means is that you have to chase the back of the mob uh, all the time, and chasing the position like that, you know, uh, it suppresses uh, this uh, playstyle. Uh, you know, the playstyle of quickly switching over. Uh, you get the point here, right? And this is already you know studied in KR, but this doesn't mean that you don't have to back attack. Well, of course, it's you know it would be better to uh, go for back attack because in Lost Ark, if you do back attack with back attack skills, then uh, you get five percent of additional damage bonus and ten percent of crit rate bonus. So uh, let me uh, give you guys an advice uh, from my experience. Well, pretend that the boss is like this right here, and if you are facing its head side. Then um, for me in in this position, I would uh, just uh, use the skills uh, to its head, even though it's a back attack skill, rather than uh, going all the way around to hit the back because that's like a uh, waste of time and you will uh, lose the buff. Uh, you get the point, right? So uh, here, if if you're positioned like this, then use the skill uh, to the head side, and if you're positioned either like in from the side right here like this or like this or if you are already in the back side then just hit the back side like if you're in the back hit the back if you're in the side then it's easy to move move to the back side right if you're on the side so just move here slightly and hit the back so this is what 
I do, uh, you know, uh, in the actual raid. And I think this is much better to play. The next one is which engraving to go for the fourth engraving. Well, I mentioned this in the in the engraving video as well. But if I try to explain again, um, well, actually, this is kind of debatable. But in my thought, I think most of the time, mass increase is uh, better than cursed doll for the fourth engraving, because um, mass engraving like it, there's a penalty of 10% attack uh, speed, right? But uh, for uh, Glavier, if uh, if you get the the buff from the red stance to blue stance, uh, there uh, the buff uh, compensates this penalty, right? Because it provides you uh, additional um, the attack speed. Well, it does matter in the red stance because in when you switch over from the blue to the red stance, there's no um, attack speed buff. But uh, I don't think it will matter that much because uh, in especially in my build, which is the popular build. Uh, you literally use like two skills, two red skills, and uh, since you're using uh, that much a few skills, um, having 10% of uh, like uh, attack speed penalty doesn't matter that much. That's how I, I think. And when you think about cursed all, this one has the penalty of the the HP restoration, right? And well. The only time that I think the curse doll is better uh, to go over the mass increase is when you're a type of person that doesn't get hit by a lot. Yeah, uh, which is obvious. And if you think about the Legion raid that's uh, that will uh, come out in May or June, uh, you know, Legion raid is. Um, it's not that easy, uh, to be honest. It's not that easy because it takes long, and uh, taking long means that you have more chance to get hit by it. Which means, uh, when paired up with Grudge and Curse Doll, you will have like double penalty that uh, directly affects your potion. So, uh, if you go for a Curse Doll instead of the Mass Increase, you might uh, face lack of potion easily. And besides. Mass increase gives 2% more of attack when compared to the cursed doll. The fifth one is how you should buy the accessories uh, when you distribute the stats like this. Well, basically, if you want to main a stat like like this case, then you wanna go for the um, the necklace for uh, that has both of these. Um, these stats like so in my case i i main specialization and i serve the swiftness right so uh, my necklace has a uh, specialization and swiftness as well so this part is the only part that will have swiftness for other accessories uh, you want to spam it with the uh, with the ones that have uh, specialization and there's one thing that I want to uh, give you guys advice on buying the, the relic accessories when it comes out for the first time. Well, it's obviously going to skyrocket when it comes out for the first time, right? Uh, in that case, uh, I want to tell you guys that just don't care the quality if you're a kind of person that cannot afford the price. Because, I mean, even though if the quality is low, I mean, having low quality means uh, you're basically going to have lower stats, right? Well, it's okay because uh, you don't want to, like, just uh, hurry and, uh, you know, uh, just burn all the gold you have, right? Uh, that's not the way to have fun uh, if you can't afford it. So, um, the advice that I want to give you guys is that just go for the low quality if you are if you cannot afford it and uh, change over to those with higher quality later uh, when the price goes down. And last one is tips on uh, which Argos gear set to go for when you enter your first Legion Raid Vulcan Normal Mode at 14-15 gear level. Well, basically, uh, I told you guys there are uh, like three um, kinds of build uh, comprehensively, right? Um, the first one is the climax. The I, I don't know what's it gonna be translated uh, for the class engraving, but uh, for now I'm gonna call it like uh, climax and moderation. For a climax, there were two builds, right? First one was maining specialization with uh, having skills that has uh, guaranteed crit hit tripod. And the second one was the one uh, going for crit and specialization stats uh, with uh, going for tripod tripod that increases your damage rather than 
uh, ha uh, making you to uh, do the guarantee credit. You, you guys remember this, right? If you've seen my previous videos. Well, anyways, for the first one, when you main the specialization for Climax, the set you want to go for is th this set right here. Well, there are two kinds of sets. Uh, actually, there's three kinds of sets, but except the chosen ones, uh, you wanna. Uh, there are like two. Um, the one that increases crit rate, and the other one raises the crit damage. You wanna go for the crit damage for uh, for this build. Crit damage. Don't be confused. Uh, it's not the crit rate. It's crit damage because you already have most of the skills that does. Uh, you know. Uh, that guarantees a crit uh, on the skills. So uh, obviously you want to go for the crit damage because this will increase your uh, DPS much more than going for crit rate. And if you are the one who are going for the second build, uh, that means crit and specialization, then you want to go for this one, the crit rate, because that one, uh, you know, doesn't have much uh, crit. So you need the one that can, you know, um, give you more crit rate. And also, uh, there's last one, the moderation uh, in class engraving. If you're going for the moderation one, you also want to go for the crit rate, because uh, that one also needs some crit rate as well. And I'm sure that most of you guys already know this, but if I try to, uh, you know, re remind you guys uh, again, is that um, there's only like, you can get bonus by having five of the gear set, right? Not six. So for the last one, which is the most expensive, the weapon, you want to go for this one, the chosen. Uh, I assume that this is, but the chosen ones are much uh, cheaper than other these two set, right? Uh, in NA and EU as well in the auction house. So you wanna go for five of the um, the the defense gears uh, for the bonus set, the five set bonus, and the rest of the one for the the chosen one for the weapon. Well, guys, that's all for this video. If you like my video, please hit the subscribe button because that will really help me out a lot. And I will mention sites where you can see my character info in my comment. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.